morning, I'm Cindy from Startup World Tech and we are doing a co-interview with Aving News from Korea on the K Startups this year at Switch 2022. So the Switch uh, event is actually the Singapore Week of Innovation and Technology and we are going to interview some startups. The primary and farming industry is a very data barren industry and now we have MB Lab that has got technological solutions to help us with uh, data monitoring and even technology that will help the farmers manage their feed and stock better. So right now I have with me Mr. Kwan from MB Lab. Hi. Hi. Can we uh, share more about your company and what you do? Of course. Thank you so much. I'll be more than welcome to share my company. Okay. So, so what is it about? So my name is Saint Kwan. I'm the main communicator for Amby Labs Corporations. We provide a digital transformation in the livestock feed industry, which is worth five hundred million dollars in Ooh, market. Sounds a lot. Sounds a, it's a lot, <laughs> and even especially in Southeast Asia, which takes about half of the market. Ooh. So it's a big market that we're trying to target. I myself is the main communicator for Ambi Labs and we provide a comprehensive livestock feed management data platform for feed companies and farmers to optimize the whole process of feed management. Okay, for those of us who are not exactly sure what it is, how does it benefit the farmers? So for the farmers, once they implement our product, they can real-time monitor all their feed related information such as feed quantity, consumption rate, conditions. So one of the biggest pain points for the farmers is that it's difficult for them to actually measure how much feed they have. They have to climb up the ladders which is up to four to five meters high, okay. look into the silo which is where the feed is okay. stored. So it's usually because farmers are over the age of 50, oh, it's really true. difficult for them. So they don't know when to order. And then when all the feed is uh, out, the cattle or the invest livestock have to starve. So that's the biggest pain point for them. So would you say that um, it's easier for them to manage their costs as well? It's definitely easier for them. They can completely prevent contamination. They can prevent any feed waste. Okay. And they know the optimal time for ordering so that their livestock don't have to uh, starve. starve. Okay, I see. So all the little chickens will be well fed? All the chickens, <laughs> all the cattle, all the pigs. Okay. Right. So in that case, um, what are the, the equipments that they have to purchase? So we provide a self-installable, 10-minute self-installable IoT feed measuring device. Once this is installed in their silos, anybody can install it. Okay. All the data is being measured and then it is linked to our application platform okay. for feed companies and farmers to real-time monitor their feed situations. Okay, so it's mainly just the device and the app? The application, we also provide an ERP platform for Ooh. feed companies. So the feed companies can Mon real-time monitor all their client farm situations. Oh wow, so it's two ways. Both ways. Okay. So our main targets are actually feed companies. Mm. So they can real-time monitor their client farms and optimize their raw material purchases, logistics, inventories, and delivery plans. They can reduce up to 30% of their transportation costs and reduce that much of CO2 emissions. I think that's very beneficial for all the farmers and even the feed companies. Oh, definitely. Okay, so what, any uh, other goals or plans moving forward? So, we, our company was established in 2020 and we have done our prototype work till late last year. We've started making revenue this year and we are exporting our products to countries in Southeast Asia, especially in Malaysia and the Philippines. So we're looking for business partners or investors who are interested in our product. I'm sure there are many who are interested. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Mr. Kwan. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Bye.